Hello, welcome to Training Marks Java Coding Challenges series. In this session, we'll discuss about one more coding challenge, that is, how do you print Floyd Strangle? Let us understand the logic. So, before going to write the program for this, first we need to understand what is Floyd Strangle. So, Floyd Strangle is printing a series of numbers in a triangle shape example in the first row uh, i mean it will start printing from 1 to n so but printing these numbers from 1 to 10 will be in a particular order example in the first line it it is just prints only one in the second line it will print two numbers that is 2 3 and then in the third line it is now going to print 4 5 6 3 numbers and fourth line it is it is going to print 7 8 9 10 and then in the fifth line it is now going to print 11 12 13 14 and 15 and so on so here when you're printing the numbers now mostly you're printing the numbers based on the number of lines as an input example suppose here we are printing the Floyd triangle for five, five lines so that the output will come like this in the first line only one number will be printed in second line two three will be printed in third line four five six seven eight nine ten in four line and then fifth line is going to be like this so if they ask you to print the Floyd triangle for six lines then it start 16 17 18 19 20 and then 21 so you need to print six numbers like that so always when they ask you to print a Floyd triangle first of all you need to ask them how many number of lines you want or if they don't mention any number of lines it's up to you you take whether it is four lines or five lines so now let us understand the logic like how we are going to do this so first the very important thing here we need to take is the number of lines so here we take a variable called n where we push this to a number of lines example in this case 5 or 4 whatever the value that you want to print so and after that so then uh, we need to understand like how you are going to print so to print here uh, exactly what we need is so here we are printing a number from 1 to n so I need a number example I'll take the number which I initialize to 1 and then I need to keep on printing this number so means what I need to increment when I print this number so I'll increment it by using number plus plus so how many number of times you want to print that will be decided by the number of lines so here definitely I need to run one out of our loop for iterating through the number of lines so example here I'll take integer i is equal to 1 i less than or equal to n and then i plus plus this will be iterating through the number of lines so when uh, the number of lines is 4 or 5 so from 1 to 5 I need to do something but what is that something here I need to print the variable the variable is nothing but the number here so I need to print this number but how many number of times you want to print you have to monitor so now how many number of times you're printing this I'm printing this based on the number of lines means what if the i value is 1 I'm printing it one time if the i value is 2 I am printing it 2 times so there should be a variable which should increment from 1 to n so that should be the inner for loop inner for loop so what we need to take is we need to take one more inner for loop when i value is equal to 1 it has to be one time when i value is 2 in the second iteration I need to start from 1 to 2 like that so now here to monitor that what we do is we will take int j another variable which I will initialize to 1 but the incrementation of this should be less than or equal to i so means what if in the first iteration if it is 1 j will be 1 1 less than or equal to 1 only one time it will run when i value is 1 j value will be uh, i value is 2 when the j value will be from 1 to 2 two times it will print like if it is 3 1 2 3 like that how many number of times you want to print that you need to cover now then we need to increment our j value now this is what my inner modules so now this innermost inner most loop what I need to do is I need to print my number so now here I should not use print ln because I need to print within the same line so I have to use print method for printing this so to print a variable uh, uh, we need to pass that variable which is nothing but the number 
Now after printing the number, you can add the spaces, how many spaces you want to print. And after this, we need to increment the variable. Or you can directly increment here itself because the post increment will print it first and then it will increment if you want to write it in a single instruction. But after this for loop ends, then I need to print the next series in the new line. So after this ends, here I'm going to write one more SOP, but here I'm going to use println which now prints a new empty line. So once this inner for loop, for loop executes, then it goes to outer for loop. When I will be two, then it start printing in the new line. Like that, it will be printed to the number of lines. In some interviews, they'll ask you the Floyd strangle to print exactly in a circle shape, I mean triangle shape, like one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight, nine, ten like this shape. So whatever the shape they want to print, then you have to adjust the spaces accordingly. So we'll see both the codes, like how we are going to write this in our Eclipse. So I have opened my Eclipse. Now I'm going to create a new Java class to write my Floyd Strangle. I'm taking a new Java class and then I'm naming this class as Floyd Strangle. I'm selecting my main method, clicking on finish. So now here, I need to take the input now. The input is nothing but the number of lines, as I already told you, that uh, printing Floyd Strangle is basically the number of lines. So here, I'm just going to write system.out.println. Now I'll say enter number of lines, that how many number of lines you want to print the Floyd Strangle. To take this input, I'm using my scanner class, scanner scanner is equal to new scanner, and then I'm instantiating my scanner object. So we have to import the scanner class. And after this, I'm now taking this to a variable called n and uh, with the help of scanner.next. So this n variable now contains the number of lines. So according to our logic, the outer for loop, <coughs> outer for loop should uh, start with i till the number of lines I need to increment. This is what how many number of lines you want to print that we are monitoring. So in our inner for loop, so according to our logic, we need to take one more variable, which is j is, uh, should start with one, but this j should be less than or equal to i, and then we are going to say j plus plus, because this will monitor how many number of times you want to print the variable. Now, because we need to print the variable, now I'm going to say integer number, which I'll initialize it to one. Now I'm going to print this. So to print it within the same line, I'm now going to use print, not println. So here I'm going to print the number. And after that, and if you want to give some spaces, so then I'm just going to give one space here after every number. And then I need to increment my number every time. So now here after this, if you want to print in the new line, then we're going to write a new line statement, an empty new line statement. Now, this is what, how many number of lines you want to print your Floyd Strangle. This inner for loop, just to monitor how many number of times you need to print the variable. So here, most of the freshers will confuse, like we are printing a variable from one to 10. No, we are printing a variable one to N, every time incrementing by one, but how we want to print that based on the number of lines, that is what you call as a Floyd Strangle. Now, let me run this program. So when I run this program, so it will ask me to enter the number of lines. Let me enter four now. Once I enter four, now it is now going to print me the Floyd Strangle with the four lines. So when I run it, and then if I enter five lines, then it is going to print me the number of lines as five. So it's up to you how many number of lines that you want to print it. Example six, it is now going to print you six lines. But when you want uh, the Floyd Strangle to print exactly in a particular triangle shape, then probably what you need to do is we need to print certain spaces before printing this. Now, when you want to print it, first of all, you need to identify how many number of spaces you require. So here, if you want to get a particular shape, then here, when I'm printing my one, when the number of lines is one, then I need to print three spaces, then two spaces, then one space, then zero space. So now how we are going to do that? For printing the spaces, I need one more inner for loop for spaces. For the spaces, what I need is, I need to take one more for loop. Example, I'm taking int s is equal to one. Now s 
what I need to do is s less than the number of lines okay so now what exactly happens here is okay I'll just let you know what exactly I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do is now I'm going to print okay the spaces before printing it okay so to print a space I'm just giving only print within the space so now what I want is within the first line I want to print some spaces and then I want to print num number now how many number of times you want to print these spaces is now when you say here number and then number when we take it as 4 or in this case is 4 when I'm taking 4 how many spaces I need to print is 3 and next time it should be 2 but if you take s less than n now n is going to be 4 all the time so you're going to get 3 spaces every time so let me run this so to say how exactly it will come when you're taking that when I take it 4 now you look at this now every time 3 3 spaces has come so s is s is equal to 1 and after that you're just printing the number now if you look at this now here how many spaces came three spaces came but again three spaces again three spaces again three spaces why because n we are not going to decrement so if i if i have to decrement if i decrement n here example after this for loop if i decrement n then it is now going to decrement this also so that what happens you don't get your Floyd strangle in a proper shape example i enter four then you see we got only one two and after that your number of lines is decremented so it, it's not going to work so how exactly you're going to do is now because here the spaces is in align with the number of lines so what i do is i'll take one more variable to store the spaces value that i am assigning it to the number now here instead of this n what we need to do i'm going to say it as spaces now instead of decrementing n i'm going to decrement my spaces variable so once you do this now your spaces variable initially is 4 but now you are iterating with 3 now first time 3 spaces gets printed and after that spaces is decremented so in the second line 2 spaces will be decremented uh, printed and in third spaces will be 1 so only once it will print it and after that spaces is going to be uh, 0 and then uh, decremented as uh, uh, 0 then uh, the condition is going to be false so it is now not going to print anything so let me run this when I am running it with a 4 then it is now going to give you in a proper shape but when you have a two digits example suppose here when I'm running it for number of lines as five then you need to adjust these spaces because this shape is not properly coming so or if you can closely look at with number of lines as seven see this alignment is completely disturbed so you have to understand how many spaces you want to print to commit in a proper shape so that that logic you have to write so but uh, based on like how they want you to print you know to adjust the spaces maybe in between or in the before